Miss Doolittle. How do you do, Mrs. Higgins? Professor Higgins said I might come. Quite right, my dear. I'm delighted to see you. Colonel Pickering, is it not? How do you do, Miss Doolittle? Professor Higgins? Stick to the weather and your health. Mrs. Hill, Miss Doolittle. I feel sure we've met before, Miss Doolittle. I remember your eyes. How do you do? By George's, it all comes back. My daughter, Cotton Clara, Garden. how do you do? What a how confounded do do? thing. My son, Freddy. <laughs> oh, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> I'm sure I've had the pleasure somewhere. Will it rain, do you think? The rain in Spain, they say, stays mainly in the plains. They say. How too true, Miss Doolittle. But in... Uh... Hampshire, Hereford and Hartford, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Do they? Hardly ever, Miss Doolittle. <laughs> How awfully funny. <laughs> What is wrong with that young man? I bet I got it right. Uh, killing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I do hope it won't turn cold. There's so much influenza about. It runs right through our family every spring. My aunt died of influenza. So they say. But it is my belief as how they done the old woman in. <laughs> done her in? Yes, Lord love you. Why should she die of influenza? when she come through diphtheria right enough the year before. Perhaps it wasn't diphtheria. You see, Vicar... Oh, but I saw her with my own eyes. Fairly blue with it she was. They all thought she was dead. But my father, he kept ladling gin down her throat till she come to so sudden that she bit the bowl off the spoon. Dear me! Now, what call would a woman with that strength in her? to die of influenza. Ah. And what become of her new straw hat that should have come to me? Well, what? Somebody pinched it. And what I says is, them what pinched it done her in. Done her in? Could you tell me? No, it's just, just the new slang, Vicar. But uh, you surely don't believe that your aunt was was killed. Do I not? Them she lived with would have killed her for a hat pin, let alone a hat. But it couldn't have been right for your father to have, to have poured spirits down her throat like that. Now that might have killed her. Not her. Gin was mother's milk to her. <laughs> Besides, he'd poured so much down his own throat that he knew the good of it. Oh, how terrible for you. Oh, you. it never did him no harm what I could see. He was always more agreeable when he had a drop in. When he was out of work, my mother used to give him a two and a kick and tell him to go out and not come home until he drunk himself cheerful and loving like. Charming. There's lots of women has 
to make their husbands drunk, to make them fit to live with. <laughs> Here, what are you sniggering at? The new slang. You do it so awfully well. If I was doing it proper, what was you laughing at? I said anything I oughtn't. No, not a thing, Miss Doolittle, no. Well, that's a mercy, anyhow. What I always say is... Uh, uh, uh. Well, I must go now. Goodbye, Mrs. Higgins. So glad to have met you. Goodbye, my dear. Goodbye, Vicar. Goodbye, Colonel Pickering. Goodbye, Miss Dooley. Good... Goodbye, all. Excuse me, Miss Doolittle, but uh, would you be walking across the park? Because if so, Walk? I... Walk? Not bloody likely. I'm going in a taxi. 